only collect the eggs, so we're collecting the eggs. But the thing that I mean, that's not what I was going to tell you. What I was going to tell you is that, so about a week ago, approximately. Oh, thank you so much. Can you go get me the other eggs in there too? Thank you. Right now I'm just going to set them up here. I'm going to get a bowl for them. But what? Oh, she doesn't mind. She'll leave. Um, so what happened was that we had a hen who wanted to set on her eggs. We have that every year. A couple of our hens like to do that. So she first she started her up in this far box, okay? And so we kind of, thank you. We, you know, it's hard to block them off. We put a piece of wood in front of it, but you know, they're going to end up getting out because they're thirsty and hungry. And then the other chickens run them off so they can never go back to their eggs. So then a couple of, uh, like the day after she was over there, she had gotten up at some point and then when I came back the next day, she was over here. Yeah. So those eggs then obviously she yeah. had, they were cold. So, you know, they were ruined. They couldn't, they, they were cold. So, um, thank you. And so she had eggs under here, oh, she was sitting on. So I told, I said, me and my husband and the kids were talking and we're like, well, how can we keep her? Okay. Yeah, can you get it for me? Yeah. Um, so what we said was, how can we get her to stay? Hold on, Sam. How can we get her to stay and hatch these eggs? Because like I said on my other video when I was doing the beef food, chickens take 21 days. So how can we do this? So I, I was like, well, and also we wanted to put, we put some turkey eggs and a goose egg underneath her because we're experimenting. Now turkeys and geese take 28 days, so we don't know, but we're going to see. No, this is actually a humongous double yolk chicken egg. That's humongous. This looks like a turkey egg, but it's not speckled, so this is a double yolk for sure. But, well, I'll help you. But anyway, so the chicken, so the, so the chicken, so she has some chicken eggs, a goose egg, turkey eggs, okay, so we want her to hatch them. But we needed to keep her confined so she would set. So underneath our chicken coop, yeah, I'll get them. Hold on a second. Underneath, we had built when we built this. That's a turkey egg. Um, we put underneath a little brooder, a little brooder house with the heat lamp, you know. And this is an area where we put baby chickens, baby turkeys, baby geese, and ducks, things like this, with the heat lamp under it. So what we did, because she was right above it, like I said in that nest box. So what we did, and the reason that we think this worked, because never before have we ever been able to move a hen and then she stays set it on her eggs because, you know, they get it in their mind that they need to be in that area. But what we did was we took her and we took the eggs and we put her directly underneath into that brooder box area because then she can get up and get food and water without any other hens. Thank you. And the other hens getting her. So, you know what she did? She sat on them. She, she doesn't get up. So, she has been sitting on these eggs for about a week. She's right down there if you want to see her. She's one of our black hens. Okay, thanks Sam. So she has been setting like that for, like I said, it's been close to a week now. So it's going to be about the end of March, the 19th to 20th to 21st, the chicken eggs should start hatching. So we will keep you guys updated, so please watch back and subscribe to our videos if you like it. We're so appreciative. Bye!